How are you guys doing? Good, good. Yeah, Thank you from the Cinema Source. Oh, oh, hi. Yes, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, so the last time we spoke was for Fallen Skies yes. before the season started. Yes. And uh, I was we're into it. Pretty I, hard. I was full on board with Coach East. Now this last episode has me wondering, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. I'm a good guy. I'm still a good guy. All right. Are you still a good guy? Don't you believe? Really? Wait, wait, wait. The last episode. What happened? What happened? What happened? This was. Uh, uh, well, I, came, I came back with the president halfway. I, I saved his life. What are you talking about? Yes, but did you save his life for a good reason or a bad reason? Oh no, I wasn't. I was not. I was not in on him getting killed. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. I, I didn't like, you know, coordinate that. I know, or uh, okay. facilitate that. No, I was actually trying to save his life. And then, uh, yeah, but I'm trying to think now, oh, and then I, oh, but what I exposed the uh, the bomb weapon. That, right. that, and it, its purpose was, was the bomb, which is fine. Right. So, so it's all good. We're all but, good. But the thing, okay, let me tell you, the thing that got me about that is he divulges the purpose, but yes. the people that he told it to originally who could, who could you know, verify it, weren't there. They're all dead. We only <laughs> had your word for that. You just got me nervous. That's, that's what I'm telling you. You got me a little nervous. Well, you know, stay nervous. Hey, okay. Uh, but, uh, because you never know what, uh, what 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 an alien race landing on Earth. You never know what their alternative motive is, anyway. Do you right, for sure. So uh, so just uh, keep looking at me through those eyes of John Pope with all that naysayer like skepticism of his, and keep looking at me through uh, Noah Wiley's uh, Matt or Tom Mason character because he's he's the one that's befriended and trust me, right? And and also now since we've spoken, I know where your actual eyes are on <laughs> right, the costume. On the face, right. So I tend every now and then I'm like I know where he's. Looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right by the vents in the nose. That's where I'm kind of looking through. And the, the eyes are out here somewhere. Going, zink, zink, zink. Yeah. <laughs> so what has the response been so far? It's as you know, great. episodes come out. Yeah. And it's funny because, uh, you know, with, with this uh, this instant access we have on Facebook and Twitter nowadays, um, uh, we're getting an awful lot of uh, new followers and people. Oh, but it's funny. The, 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 the comments are 50-50. Some, uh, half the people are like, I love Coach Easy. He's so charming. And I trust him. I love him. The other half is like, I don't know what Ch Coach Easy is up. I think you're pulling something. I got to get something up your sleeve. You read my post. I did. That was you. So, so it's nice to have that 50 50 uh, sort of like, we don't know. I like to keep an audience guessing, for sure. That's awesome. And it definitely looks like you'll be around for the next season. I think it looks good for you. Yeah, I, I can't confirm or deny, but it's, it looks good. And, and I have to ask is there anything happening with Hellboy? What's, okay. Oh gosh, from your lips to God's ears. Uh, I, I don't know how I've been asked. Asked Hellboy okay. 3 more than okay. anything uh, ever. And uh, I think it's because somebody was, either Ron Perlman was at a convention recently um, back in the Midwest, and every time he's in public, people ask him, hey, what about Hellboy 3? His answer is my answer. We all want to do it. Absolutely. So that gets turned into, it's going to happen. <laughs> right? Uh, 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 uh. We want to do it, but there's no money to do it. Uh, it's going to cost, uh, the story that Guillermo del Toro has for Hellboy 3, it's about a $200 million project to make. That's what he's told us. Now, I don't know what, we made the first, the first two movies for much less than that, about half of it. So, why he needs that big of a budget, I don't know. Uh, but, but uh, it, that makes the studio leery. So, uh, not sure what studio's going to pick us up this time. Well, nowadays, that's what Kickstarter's for. Two hundred million dollars? That's a that's a big Kickstarter, Kevin. You that's get, a lot of money for these folks to, you know, pull out of their their savings accounts. You, you guys got some big fans out there, I think, oh. you know, just give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Well, just like this, start to start like do all the all the Facebooky, Twittery things to like the studio heads. Tell them that, that, that they should support Hellboy. They, they should make another Hellboy. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. For Great to see you again. Good for you. Thanks. Hey, this is Terry with Metal Life Magazine. I'm sorry. Metal Life Magazine. Hi. 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 How are you? How are you? So, our question is, what else are you working on or going to be working on besides what we already know you're doing? Right. Um, well, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I have a, another movie coming out next year, 2014, with Zoe Bell uh, and Sherilyn Fenn from Twin Peaks. Okay, she, right. She played my wife. And oh, it's, nice. It's called Reeze, R-E-Z-E. Okay. Uh, I'm the patriarch of, a, of an elite 
society of people that uh, are, abduct women and make them fight each other to the death in an underground prison. Do you love it already? That sounds awesome. I, it's a win-win. Yeah. Right. Sign so me up. Yeah. It's grisly. It's gritty. Uh -huh. It's 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 bloody. It's it's brutal fighting. It's awesome. a, one of those brutal things I've ever watched. Awesome. But it also is a, a triumphant story for the spirit of womanhood. Right. And 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 what how, what lengths would a woman go to to protect the ones she loves? Okay. Because we put all their families at stake when right. we make them fight each other. Sure. Sure. So it's it's a toughie. It's a toughie. All right. Yeah. Both sides of the coin. Yeah. I like that. 2014. Be looking for that. Okay. And uh, also, I just wrapped a movie recently that I cannot tell you anything about, but I'm going right. to try to entice you if I can. All right. All right. It is a character that was with a folklore backstory legend that was started on the internet. Oh. Right. All right. And, and people have been clamoring for a movie to be made about this character for a long time, okay. and I just played it. So nice. that's, that's exciting. All right. You can do all the guessing you want, but that, that's all I can tell you for now. Sounds good. We'll have a contest. See who was right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks.